battle here for winners finals. And of course, if you guys don't know, this is best of five territory, so things are running a little bit longer. Especially with uh, when it comes down to stage counter pick choices here. Game one so coming up on what used to be called Starterville. Once again, I think that's one thing I have to really appreciate Cosmos, right? You may see him press buttons, but every button he presses is a little bit of one more step to your demise, because if he does catch you with that button press, you can definitely combo into a couple things here, especially from there into up air if over there. One thing that Cosmos is doing an excellent job is remaining mobile and also understanding how Knight works. Of course, you kind of have to do that against the matchup. If you stay in place too long, Zelda, enjoys it when you're just stuck in one area because she can definitely expose you for that once again good shield no parry i still respect the right able to get away from forward and that forward air from zelda is mighty powerful pin no tipper we put zelda off the stage then trading spaces here with the recovery oh. cosmos oh. rough spot dang you only got like one hit of the neutral view just was enough to take it to the semi specter I think if he even gets the full hits, it like stage spikes too. Or it stage spikes or it hits him out towards wh where the knight is. Yeah. It's pretty interesting out to So this is actually really good for him. Oh, never mind, he died. <laughs> Interaction he, with like, knight being there. Oh, he died. Like, he like tried to set up the knight. And if you hit Zelda before it comes out, the knight just disappears. So that's like it's active cosmic too. Oh yeah, oh, and like so. That's kind of one of those things about Zelda, right? Even though I since the way that Ven is usually familiar with playing with Knight is here, he pushes out Knight, then he pushes in some advantage, allowing you to see if you're gonna panic, roll, or jump, make the proper call out. Ven hasn't had the time to do that because like I said, right, Cosmos does an excellent job of being mobile, but look at the effect that he's taking into consideration spacing here after the night, after Vin has landed, so he can punish him properly within a whiff punish range. Up till here coming up from Ben's, uh, Ben. A pin kick. Not killing off the top uh, just yet, oh but sure that's what Cosmos was looking for. Like the pin, yeah. it's gonna apply a little bit of pressure beneath the platform too, in case Ben did want to approach. But still, closing out the stock, Ben on his last stock here in game one. Yeah, it's uh, like you said, Cosmos is just moving really well. It's really difficult for uh, Vin to take advantage of the knight most of the time. We all know Cosmos, man, one of the greatest horns back in Smash 4. And now that he finally has his character back in his hands, the right way in this case, right? Movement, not an issue for Cosmos. I think that's one of the things that was kind of changed between Smash 4 Corn and Ultimate Corn is obviously Corn in this game looking a lot faster. Cosmos loves that, he uses that to his advantage. He almost gets the pin in such a sneaky direction, but Ven's still fighting for his dear life. Cosmos is not really falling for that uh, neutral be off stage anymore either. Down air, but the stall with Nairu's love gonna make sure that the pin is not in the in the correct direction. Doesn't get the enough charge on to kill, but it's still a really big lead right now. No two frame with the pin, but very close. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see to know why uh, Cosmos continues to go for the the dragon stun. That stun shot because getting a hit by the projectile and the stun, uh, it isn't as long as it was in the previous game. No, you, not at all. Yeah. you get launched like almost immediately. You have to really be good at reacting. I think for Cosmos, maybe the thought process is if I do get this, this is also potential shield break. Oh, oh he got this man he on the. He didn't know he was charging. Yeah, that yeah. It was a mix of didn't know he was charging that smash. Had the knight out there. And then not only that, Cosmos went for the get-up attack, thought he had enough range either way. So even if he didn't know the move, it was the range he was looking for from get-up attack. Nonetheless, here, Ven takes game one. Last yeah. second here on that one. Yeah, that's like a typical Zelda, like, ledge trap too. First place. Like, they just said the knight to, like, force you to panic. 
do something and then they're already charging. Especially if eight. you're looking at the night, you're not even looking at them charging their move. That's kind of one Still of the most difficult it. things. Uh, he, had, he had a rage too, so it was definitely going to kill. Yeah, when you think about the difficulty of finding Zelda in that scenario here, you have to look at the fact that you must always look at your opponent. When your opponent puts something on like night there in a situation at the ledge where you get scared, if you jump at the wrong time, the swing of the sword will kill you. And if not, <laughs> you pick the wrong option, Zelda's for it's not gonna kill you. So Cosmos had to be very cautious that he went for what was the right option there, but it turns out it wasn't here. Game two, like we said, it's a game five scenario here, so Cosmos still has other games to put out here. Yeah, I also don't like him salty run back to this stage, to be honest. Well, the benefits too as well, like, because Korn has a lot of range, right? Benefits well for Korn, covers more of the stage, right? And then gives Zelda less space to run around. So, Ven is kind of forced to play a little bit more closer than it would be farther. You want to make sure when you catch the yeah, thing, that I you also can't run away. I think Ven's really aggressive, though. Oh, then, it totally yeah. is. Like, Ven... I mean, typically we see like the uh, more defensive play and trap setting up from from our our Zelda players. Wow, that was a great kick, by the way. <laughs> uh, but he will set up the trap and then approach with it, using it to recover his own options. I mean, that's just a typical play style that we don't see from Zeldas. But look at Cosmos going so deep for those back airs. Yep, close range will take you to stock here. Yep. Very like yeah, you know, like you guys said earlier, it's very similar to that. Yeah. Oh, still not grab. That's unfortunate. Well, at least you didn't take a huge combo. That could have easily been like almost fifty percent. Sure, dude, those forward airs to up airs mind, are. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that could have been like another eighty percent. Oh, now we're at eighty. <laughs> 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 All right, chill, oh, chill, yeah. Cosmos, man. At least telling him that, you know what? I made an effort to try to come out to all these online tournaments. I'm not just gonna go out that easily. But then, uh, you know, kind of his business card, I would say, when it comes to Wi-Fi. Is, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. He was definitely one of those players out there back in all of the draw as well. So he has some experience understanding what lag works and how to use Zelda on Wi-Fi as well. So that's the one thing that makes kind of then like no other Zelda. His strides to the right, very aggressive. Not afraid to use Knight in such an aggressive playstyle. That air dodge is going to cost him the stock. A defensive mechanic from our aggressive player. He's going to drop his stock. And here we go. Corn combos getting oh, the reset again. on the air yeah. dodge. Yeah, Corn's damage output is really, really good. Corn. Um, Kozl's going for the crazy offstage pin just to close it out. Yeah, if you get tip or pin at the, at the ledge, or off stage, it's ridiculous to kill early. Yeah, he, did, he wanted to save his jump there, and I respect it too, but that situation, man, saving your jump. You might want to have to burn it just to avoid it all, but I respect it nonetheless for Oslo's 83%. I mean, men can bring it back. No stranger to this situation. Yeah. This is kind of scary for Cosmos. Oh, up till oh, to not up there. Very keen on Cosmos to understand, even though the M life from Knight isn't that, is really much in Zelda's favor in that situation, but the startup on Knight, Ben charges it up, is not going to be pretty for it. Wait oh, for it? Yeah. Pretty short shield. Okay, nice. Gets the dash attack, says with the ledge trap again. Oh my god. Is that a B again? It's really rough to edge guard. Oh, nope, not going to get the pin on time. Oh yeah, my god. Yeah, just missed the pin. Game's off stage. Okay, this is a throw, I think? No. Oh no, yeah, it wasn't enough to kill yet. And not enough rage on Cosmos, but there we go. The Knight covering uh, covering the aggression from Cosmos to the ledge. Using, the, again, the Knight to stall. Trying to get the sword to poke through the stage. Very sneaky, Ven. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He's going for his neutral B a lot. Oh. Uh, nice, nice. He wanted to bring the wall that situation. Oh. This is coming that a situation a really where... Bad bad bad. Yeah. Careful on the get up there, oh yeah. My. Oh my... Oh, double dash, dash attack! That's it, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I was gonna say... Look, look. 
I was just trying to recover him, man. Like, he, wasn't even, like, he was not trying to kill him. Like, yeah, and the, 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 the longer that Ben kept going out there with the high percent that he was and being in scenarios where, like, oh, the only thing I'm getting hit by up B, being at 156, that's not a ledge. Yeah, up B was definitely going to be the one who got killed. Something had to give. I was more scared for Cosmos because there were situations where he wasn't in that with punish range against Zelda where you're safe enough from her teleport. Sorry, uh, Fowler's Wind. Where you're safe enough from Fowler's Wind and you're also safe enough from her going for a cheeky option with Knight. So he wasn't doing that. He was very much playing close quarters, which I respect because he did a really good job at calling out neutral getup with up, up throw. But Ven likes to be aggressive and he won't be scared of being aggressive at the ledge there. So we'll see how game three plays out for Cosmos. Yeah, Ben's, Ben's the one that running back to this stage. Like, it feels a show he doesn't mind playing on Smashville, even though it's supposed to be good for Cosmos. I just think since he's so aggressive, he doesn't mind playing on a small stage. Small stage, and of course, like, the smaller stage is also going to give Knight a little bit more... It's going to make Knight feel a little bit bigger. It's going to cover more space than... Uh, the rest of the stage. Oh, Whoa! Speak of the Big devil, swing. Dude, I don't think Cosmos knew which direction the knight was facing at all. In theory here, you want to always look at your opponent there, but sometimes the extra layer of having the knight out there has a little bit more, uh, I would say, confusion at times, because you also have to respect knight. I mean, you think about it as well with characters like Dunhunt Dog when you play against Duck Hunt Dog, but Khan throws your perspective a little bit off as well, so... Let's see how things go here. Cosmos down one of the stock early. This is where Ven wants to be here. Oh my oh. god. Tech Chase of E. That could have been so much worse for Cosmos too, but... Yeah, Ven just keeps applying so much pressure. Cosmos just trying to get some footing, you know, regain some stage control, but... It's it's looking really hard right now. Ven's moving really well, but nice catch on the air dodge, keeping him in the air. Great recovery from Ben though. No shield poke. I don't think it will be me. Never mind. Oh. I was just gonna say I bet I I bet to differ. I feel like Cosmos in that situation was very roll. I wonder if he I think I think he is trying to roll, but since like yeah, You're stuck in shield hit. gun. Yeah. When, he's, when he like rolls, he's still getting hit by it. It's unfortunate. And there's that big Corrin damage, especially like here. Uh, unfortunately for Cosmos, we didn't get to see him reset on the platform. That's really where we're going to see that 49 turn into a 79 or an 80. Yeah, he man, he's been just keeping up all this pressure with all the specials, forcing Cosmos in some really bad spots. He's basically he's using the knife and it's like to uh, see if he can bait Cosmos or try to jump over it and then like get it up there. But uh, Cosmos not fall for it yet. Oh no, okay. His love view is safe because the knight was there if he tried to get close. Still kind of interesting. No, nope, no sweet spot there. Alright, and the rust spot off stage. Oh, Ooh, good counter, good, good counter. counter. Good idea, but still was safe with the up I feel like if it would have been Smash 4 counter, it would have been Curtis in that stock there, but. Good nice. call out. Get up. He doesn't have enough for up throw to kill yet, so he's gonna get the damage. I think for Cosmos, he's doing a really uh, good job of understanding when Ven will start charging up Knight at the ledge and when he won't, so he knows, okay, this is a call-out grab, or this is an opportunity where I have to punish his landing afterwards. I can't believe that those smash didn't even poke. He didn't even aim with his shield, but it's fine, he still got the kill. In the middle of back right here, he lost his stock against Zelda Dash. Sure you did, yeah. Yeah, pin kick. Still, still kills. Cosmos is also getting me really good at uh, timing his aerial to destroy the knight to while he needs Zelda. Yeah, this is, of course you have to always keep in mind knight charges right next to Zelda, of course. So you can definitely hit two birds with one stone in those situations. Here, Cosmos down throw no back here. Still doing an excellent job. Look at the pressure already off the stage. He wants to call it here, game three. 57 here, Cosmos oh, like Good opportunity, good. yep. Nice. Yeah, I like the changeup. Right Do you? Yeah. 
Me too. Oh, nice. Pretty. What do you like about it, Bam? Oh, Oof. that was rough. Come on, man. The play is just immaculate. <laughs> I mean, this is the thing, all right? Sometimes, it, even just the slightest delay can be just enough, right? Even just the timing. It's not only on the attack you fly, all right? Mm -hmm. You mix me up, huh? You thought you'd get me? Catch me slipping? Yeah, sometimes we gotta put you in that situation to see if you're still good. <laughs> I love you, Z-Fly. <laughs> so yeah, coming out here for Cosmos, getting game three, pretty big lead here on Venna, puts him up at set point. When yeah, I look I'm... at Cosmos, and you look at Korn as a whole, right, the whole, you know, Twitter bio for Korn was pinned to win here, but I think Cosmos, is, like I said earlier, he does a really good job of adding movement, adding combos, but also, like Strike said earlier, you can definitely hit two birds with one stone when it comes against Zelda and Knight. So he does an excellent job of putting all those into one beautiful playstyle and then capitalizing off that. No, absolutely. He's very fluid with his offense and defense. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure that a lot of you have seen his streams and uh, what he's been able to do for during this time period. And my goodness, man, I'm, I'm so happy that he has this character. I'm so happy to see kind of the movement that he's learned from healing has really been... Uh, has been come over into his general playstyle with with the corn in general because it seems like he's just moving so much faster with his character utilizing these cancels like, it's just so exciting to see him play there you go oh he got it this time oh that was like that, that's a very hard neutral beat to hit on corn and uh, Colin was avoiding it really well pretty much all set Thank you. yeah Good damage, hold him oh, out. That's, that's, a, that's, that's a really bad back to get hit by. Yeah. Van's actually been really bad with how he's using his double jump and air dodge to disadvantage. Which is, I mean, it's hard to avoid because it's coin, but yeah, he's got to mix it up. He's in a lead, but like, yeah, if he really is playing the bad spot, he can really cost him. Yeah. But again, um, Cosmos does not know how to deal with that F smash ledge trap with the knife. It's covers a lot of options on him, but like the second time that hit by that. I don't know, it covers roll and neutral grip really well. And it covers the ledge too, but really nice. Kind of hard. Yeah. I want to say the chat is calling it already here. We're looking like a game 5 for Venom Cosmos already. 121 here, 78. Oh, no. Yeah, you're done, you're done, you're done. Oh, yeah, so yeah he had lost his double jump, so once he got hit by Knight there, it was pretty much a wrap. All you had to do is throw out the Dense Fire, just catch the bear. That would be the only thing Cosmos could do to get in range for the recovery. So phenomenal stuff there by Sequoia mm. Ven. And we are at a game five, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. What just happened to Cosmos? Like, Dude, he got just, just completely destroyed. <laughs> then in game four with a three stock going into game five, you know that's the confidence that Ven wants to be exuding. Yeah, especially in the smaller stage where, like, you guys all said it properly, right? Knight only looks bigger in a smaller stage. We saw that a few games ago, and now we're seeing Ven just saying, I don't even need Knight to make this look like a small stage. You waste your jump, man, and it's over, especially when you burn your double jump. I'm just going to go ahead and Rory Mustang you if you go for that back air. Mm-hmm. Did Cosmos finally counterpick a stage? I would hope so, but hey, man, it's all up on him. Nah, it's man. Like a... Five games of Smashville. It was the classic oh, for the very city. Okay. Yeah, come on, man. Get it together. Are you on game? Nah, man. <laughs> I'm just here. It's Monday. We're, we're, <laughs> we all here, man. Good jab. Chomps. Chomps, chomps. The classic. Dude, I right, man. I wonder how Kazus is going to use this platform. I guess he just wants to see if he can trap him and get, like, extensions here. Yeah. That might actually work really well because how bad uh, Vin's are using his double jump and air dodge. Yeah, absolutely. And I think just in general, the way that Korn uh, just operates in this game, like, the now that you have the fair how it is, platforms really complement that juggle game so well. Like, you're able to chain it and cover a lot of options with the up air and stuff too. So a lot of these platforms, you get the good extensions and uh, trap setups automatically. It's very fluid. Yeah, it's kind of scary too. Like, the combo game is already scary on a flat stage, but now, like, you get hit, and then at least right to the platform, you can just die. Yeah. Okay. 
just a general cancel there, and I'm just gonna step that out and get a hit, but good stuff there by Cosmos. Cosmos getting back on center stage, and now it's gonna be approached. We see probably going for a ledge play here. We see it. Oh, yeah, that was such a good finish. <laughs> there were so many little of... things that he could have done to avoid getting hit. Yeah, yeah. I think you guys said it best. Ben has been burning double jumps like there's no tomorrow, man. Looking like a buffet of double jumps. So mm -hmm. Cosmos to read the jump from the ledge was only right. Yeah. Good stuff there, and that's the kind of thing you want to hold on to um, in terms of some of the direct and hard punishes going into a game five. So really good stuff right there. Uh, taking that first off, and that's going to be a big thing. Let's see if uh, Cosmos can get some extra damage. Is he going to get it? Oh, he's going to survive. Good stuff there. Let's see if Ben can actually get some options on the ledge. He's not been able to really keep Cosmos in the corner. Cosmos has gotten out for free. Oh, oh that was good, that was good, that was good. Smash yeah. ultimate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> kill me. Yeah. But like you said, right, being... Oh, okay. No, no, go stretch, go stretch. You're dead. This is funny because Cosmos has been always getting that uh, grab on neutral get up, but this time he just did the spot dodge. Like, yeah, I would have saved that, I would have saved that for like the last dock. Because it might not work anymore. Well, I mean, I, I think it was one of the situations where for him, he's probably thinking to himself, am I going to get to that last stock, right? Because he didn't want to, he didn't want to have a kind of deficit right there, right? You already lost the first stock. That's usually going to be a big part if you're not going to be able to get that revenge stock in time, you know, in terms of like general pacing. So I think it was a good play by Ben to use it when you know, he didn't want to be behind and get caught in a place where he can, you know, surround a lead. Good point. Yeah, Cosmos here at the ledges. He's doing an excellent oh, yeah, job of people. That's, that's a cap. That's a cap. Yeah. Yeah. Easy money. Uh, I would say he's fully adapted against Ben at the ledges, but also it's also a mix of adaptation. You have to look at him also going to town and city, right? Like, look, even then, he knew if I have to avoid night, Ben is going to come at me with a down air or an aggressive option here. So my directional air dodge is going to come into play. So Cosmos, like I said, he's making sure that if he does have to go for this corner recovery, if he uses platforms or air dodge, it's more in his feet. Yep. He's using that in tandem with 10 too, and it's just been so easy for him to recover against Ben and his general caps. And that's honestly, for Zelda as a whole, that's really the main place where you're going to be looking to get a lot of Oh my god! Oh, what a... Yo, that, that's the kind of play you can make. Bro, that's... That's actually crazy that he went for that. What yeah, a catch, that, man. If that was a highlight, I, and I don't know what it is. isn't in this case. Especially since Kyle was camping the platform so hard, because, like, didn't, didn't give him much reason not to do that. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. Free punish here. Yeah, not regular get up this time around. Oh, man. Step back. There's a lot of pressure right now. Ooh, Ooh, oh, 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 the oh. catch of the day. That is uh, so he got a free from his night yeah. getting destroyed, so he still had the cooldown. He couldn't he couldn't use his special.